So what are you looking for, Jen? Uh, just someone, you know, to like spend time with. For example, I had to buy all this furniture recently. So I buy it, and then I have to carry it up the stairs myself. Okay? So you're looking for a mover. <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> I just bought a king bed. Like, I didn't know. I've always had a queen bed. Mm -hmm. But like, it's so humongous. Yeah. It's because you need somebody else in it. That's the problem. <laughs> I know, but you could fit like five people in it. Five you know? five. Yeah. <laughs> but I said it was going well. Yeah. You're a nice guy. You think so? Don't judge a book. So. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, I'm just saying. I'm only kidding. You're not a nice guy. No, I'm terrible. Awful human being. My biggest concern, I would say, with most people is like if they're actually married. Yeah. Which I'm gonna say you're not. No kids, no baggage, quote unquote. I mean, I guess everyone has, you know, well, you know. Um, everybody has something, but. As rain falls over Chicago and the evening winds down, both Jennifer and Michael still seem unsure about where their date is going. Hi. You on our date? Yeah. <laughs> He's a really nice guy, and he seems yeah. like really like he's got his shit together. But I don't know. I have been lied to many times. I have gone out with two men that I found out later were married. One of them who told me that he, his wife, left him, and when I confronted him, he said, well, she could have done it. I'm back. Welcome back. I think that all men are suspicious until they prove otherwise. You were um, texting when I like went back to the table. Well, I had to keep myself busy somehow. When a guy's texting on when I'm on a date with him, that automatically like raises a flag that I don't know if they're like planning their next date. <sighs> Who are you texting? Uh, it was my cousin. Really? What were you saying to your husband? <laughs> uh, nothing. He was just checking on me and he was asking me what I was up to and seeing what I was doing. Uh, um, so. I think he's suspicious. Were you texting your cousin? Yeah, I was. <laughs> You're suspicious of him. No. Really? A little. Really? Were you talking to somebody before the date? Uh. No. This my date's not coming. Mm. Let me go take care of this. I'm gonna be this presentation for a while, and then after this, I don't know, I might go have dinner, and then I'm going straight back to the hotel, packing, and I can't wait to come home. I can't wait to be done. I want to be here. I'll be home early, so. But we'll talk later. I'll call you. Text me if you need me. All right, baby. Who are you, who are you talking to on the phone before you start the day? I'm, are you guys kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Yeah, I understand that. But it's, you know, it could be anybody. It's neither here nor there. What are you guys, you know? I'm just asking the question because. Can we pause this for a second? Because it's making me uncomfortable, and I wasn't you know, expecting all this, so. Can we stop this for a second? I just want Because I'm gonna have to walk out then. I don't want you to walk out. I'd rather then you don't want to be honest. We should, we, I want to either move on and have this just be about our date, you know. And it has nothing to do with being honest. I just feel like, and I'm a very private kind of person. That's why I want to give you the opportunity to be honest. I'm not married and I'm not tied down and that's it.